Hello, D. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I lost my voice and it just came back today. So excuse me. What did me you do? I think I sucked a little too much dick. Too, too many and too deep? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Too many and too deep and for too long for a whole day. So. Is there anything like too many dicks for you? Oh, goodness. You know, I have not found it so far. Yeah. I have not found it so far. I've had 25 in the same day and still, I mean, dick is so, dick is so beautiful. It feels so good in your mouth. <laughs> how, could you, how could you not want just more, more, more? I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, I, I prefer more, more, more pussy, but uh, that's just me. Also, that's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the second time uh, we are together on set. Yes. And uh, this time you invited me. Yes. Uh, because it's uh, a content trade scene we are shooting today. Yes, so the scene is for me and for you. Yes, yeah, so we already, uh, uh, I already mentioned that on my, on my YouTube channel, on other interviews. Yeah. Um, but let's explain for the people who don't know what that means. So we are shooting today and you're going to publish it on your site. So yes, yes. Instead of like having a totally different company, hire me and hire you. Because yes. I know you and you know me. We kind of got together and decided we were going to film our own thing. Yeah. Um, and so it doesn't belong to any other company. It's going to come out on my websites. Um, I'm going to sell it through my various channels. Um, dwilliams.xxx is my website and then I have an OnlyFans and a clip store and all of that kind of stuff. You can access all of that from my Twitter channel which is at dwilliamsxxx. dwilliamsxxx yes. on Twitter and yes. from... I'm going to show your Twitter on the button of the screen. Perfect. And then people can go from there. Perfect. And theoretically, they could also buy it from me because I also gonna own the rights. But I don't have any website where. So I'm, I'm just here because I like to have sex with you. I love to have sex with you. And one day I might publish it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You have so much good content. I'm sure built up. I from do. You. I do. I'm just a lazy bum. <laughs> Uh, it takes it takes time and it takes work to to build your own uh, uh, website and I'm I'm so lazy. I have two hobbies and both involve putting white stuff in little holes. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not on set, I like to play golf. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, tell us about, uh, when did you start your own uh, web presence? Oh goodness, I mean, I, ah, God, I can't even tell you, like, I've been on the internet in various ways for years. I mean, I've been on years. the internet since 1986. Yes. But that was well, that before the me. World Wide Web and everything, but not, not, not for this purpose, I used to work in IT, so that ah. is my background. <laughs> ah. No, and I'm, I, mine was, uh, you know, from, from the time I graduated from college, from right after that, I have had erotic pictures and that sort of thing up on the internet, but I hadn't had a pay site just this last, about 18 months ago or so. I opened my own membership site where people pay money with their credit card to come in and see the scenes that I've done. But you've always liked to be uh, naked and watched by a lot of people. I've always, I'm very much an exhibitionist, so yeah, I've always loved to have people looking at my erotic pictures and commenting on them and knowing that people are enjoying them and knowing when that they're helping When did you find out that you off. like to be naked in front of other people? Oh God. Um, I would say that would be in college, my my first semester of college. So I was 18. Okay. Uh, something like that, and I, my, kind of my group of friends ended up having an orgy. Um, oh, that sounds nice. It was super fun. It was super fun, and uh, thinking back on it in retrospect, one of the things that I really enjoyed about it was having all of these other people just see me naked. Okay. And, and see you having sex. And see me having sex. 
Does, is that a, when you shoot scenes, regular scenes for other people, is that something what comes to your mind when that other people are gonna watch you later and maybe jerk off? The people later, yes. I love the idea that like, here I've had this great sex and then it's going to get, you know, the, the video is gonna get tidied up and repackaged and then, and then people are gonna put it on when they're ready to have sex with themselves, when they're ready to have their own enjoyment, to think that it brings them more enjoyment to watch me having such a great time on set. I was, I mean, that's really hot. I was playing golf last, uh, golf last Sunday. It was a beautiful day and I was by myself. I got teamed up with a very nice guy about my age. Uh, and uh, we got along very well and it was not after... The, I think it was on the 16 hole when uh, he asked me what I'm doing here. And he was kind of he was kind of shocked because no actually it was like it was on um, last Sunday was uh, what is it called Super Bowl yeah yeah so it was very nice to play because it was so empty on the very golf chill yeah and I said oh I wish there would be Super Bowl every every week and because I I don't know why people love so much to watch score, uh, sport I rather do sport and then he says yeah like some people like to watch other people having sex. <laughs> And I said, yeah, I hope that always, because that pays my bill. And then he told me that he's active in a church and they, quote unquote, help people uh, who are trapped <laughs> into porn. <laughs> and oh, no. uh, he felt so sorry for you poor girls to do this uh, degrading uh, uh, so you don't really look degraded right now. I, first off, I am not a girl. Okay. Secondly, I do yes, not. Yes, you're a girl. You're well, I mean, I, I am a, I'm a, I'm female. Yeah. But often when these guys talk about it, they're like, oh, we need to save these poor girls who do not know what they're doing. They don't recognize the implications of what, fuck off with that. Like, I'm a woman. Yeah. The, the other women I know in this industry are also women. Okay. We've seen porn, we've jerked off to porn, we know what it means to make a porno. We know that it's going to get out there. It's not suddenly like, oh, I had no idea he was going to put it on the internet. No! And the fact that people even have a conceptualization that we need to be saved from that. So you're not under drugs right now. No. Nobody forces you because no. that's an assumption of, of some people that uh, that's what we do to the female in this industry to get them on set. <laughs> I, it's so not, I mean, we're turning people away at the doors. We yeah. have girls coming into agencies constantly and agents are like, mm, no, you don't seem like you're mature enough to handle this together enough. I don't want to represent you. I don't think you're going to make me money. We turn away a ton of people. Yeah. The girls who manage to get on the set, they're there because they want to be there. And it's crazy to me that people would and they don't people don't say this about other industries um, I, I think there is so many people uh, working whatever they do quote unquote just for the money not because they enjoy their jo uh, job in our industry I think m not everybody but most are really in this business because they like what they are doing yes yes I mean it's not a hundred percent not everybody loves their job in any industry yeah. But I have definitely been overworked, underpaid, treated poorly in a job. Not this job. Yeah. But I've definitely been underpaid and, and poorly treated in service jobs all through my 20s. Okay. And this I was, is not like I, that. I was lucky. I always had great jobs. I was working in fashion and then in IT and then here. Um, I definitely made more money in IT. It's a... But really? I, yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, I wouldn't want to go back. I love porn. I love all the people that I meet here. Like it's this is a good environment of, and again, it's because people choose to come into this environment. Okay. Okay. Listen. No, 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 cool. no, no. I, I I love to talk about all these details, but we have a crew here ah. waiting for us to start. Right, and there's sex and to be had. So. Ac actually, mm -hmm. I want to put my penis where your mouth is. Uh, <laughs> so let's have some fun, and yeah. then uh, we can talk a little bit after our shoot. All right. 
I'm looking forward to it. Kisses, my dear. Take care. Mwah. We are we are back here and Hi. we are with Nathan who joined us in the scene. I Hello. forgot to mention that before. It's ah. going to be a threesome. Yeah, it is. You are the star of it, of course. And isn't that unfair? Nathan can show his nipples, but you can't. It really, my nipples are too awesome for YouTube. I'm it sorry. Really, <laughs> my nipples are just. Yeah. Her nipples would explode. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's it's this. Um, uh, but yes, terribly unfair. Un, un, unfair female nipple law, but we have to play by the rules. Go America. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we can talk about everything that happened for the we most part. We can talk about almost everything, yeah. Right. Uh, so we did a threesome. We did do my, my favorite kind of threesome. Okay. Mm. I, do, I have to admit, it's not my favorite kind oh. of threesome. No, my favorite kind of threesome is... Uh, me in the middle of two girls. <laughs> I'm as greedy as you are. Well, fair enough. I am fantastic, right? <laughs> right, right? All right. Well, then I, I, you already had a threesome. I know. And another girl. Oh, oh. I promise you, we, you and I and another girl, we will make it happen. Uh, okay. You both gave me my. <laughs> no, no. I had, a, thing. I had a good time. Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, I like DPs. Uh, for people who don't know what DP means, it's double penetration. So, D had. Uh, all for me. Penises and yes, uh, one in the, my top hole and one in my bottom hole at the same time. Yes, and you love. Oh, I love it. I know. I love it so much. So I was happy. Actually, it feels good for me too. It's not like I'm I'm opposed no, to no, it. Right. You know? It's just if I have the right, chance. Right, just like four boobs. Yeah, I get it. I, <laughs> who doesn't? Who, who doesn't? doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? I also, yeah. yeah. No, that's you, awesome. you've, have you done a few gangbangs? I've done a bunch. I haven't done one in a little bit. So this is actually my first uh, DP in a year or two years, something like that. So, yeah. Okay. Well, well, thank you. Yeah, no, no because, so you've done a few gangbangs. Yeah. Have you ever done a reverse gangbang? I have. And they are just... So, so nice. It's just... It's just like what every boy dreams of, to have like a harem, you know, just have all these girls just for you. Touching me all over, and I'm just... Uh, <laughs> the hardest part is not coming. <laughs> just... <laughs> it's cool. Be cool, man. Yeah, Be cool. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to show off here. Stop it. <laughs> so, do you, uh, let me ask you a little bit. Uh, when you're not on set, yes. you're still a very sexual person. Yes. Uh, is there anything you have done off set which you haven't done on set? I mean, yes. A lot of it is BDSM related. Okay. Um, so off set, both like I have, a, I have a big sex life and then also I do a lot of BDSM. I, the, the guy who I'm married to, we've been doing BDSM play for going on 15 years now. Okay. Um, so, for example, just, just to take Sunday, for example. Okay. Um, after the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. um, we had been talking during that about how fun edging is. Mm. And how it's Whatever fun. that is, I don't know. Oh, what do you not is. know? Okay, so edging is where, like, if I were to get you hard and get you almost to the edge of orgasm. Okay. And then walk away. And then, that sounds mean. And then come <laughs> 10 minutes later and okay. be like, oh, hi, how are you? Okay. And get you almost to the edge of orgasm and then walk away. Okay. And you do that three or four or five or 20 or 40 times to somebody. That's blue ball Sunday. Yes, except <laughs> if it's somebody that you trust. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't do it with a stranger because I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. No, you get two tries, and then if you clearly are going to keep taking it away from me, I, I give up. Yeah. But with my partner, okay. like, okay, yes, okay, I, I trust you, I trust you. He's always, eventually, I get to come. Okay. Eventually is the key word. So, on Sunday, like I said, about four o'clock in the afternoon, he starts teasing me. About 9.30, we go to bed. He keeps teasing me all night. We wake up in the morning at 9 a.m. He teases me all day. He teases me for like two and a half hours. He tells me to go put a butt plug in. We go out to play pinball and have lunch. He's teasing me this whole time. And finally, he lets me come at about 4 p.m. the next day. Wow. And I came really, I mean, stupid hard. It was delicious. But that's, it's very hard to put on the camera. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things that I mean, you have when, to keep to when, when it 
comes to coming, actually, as 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 nice coming is, I don't know how you feel about it. Uh, I I like to extend it like when I go to parties, swinger parties or stuff. I I like to fuck at least ten different girls before I come. Yeah. Because I'm I'm this after I come I want to have a cigarette and a whiskey and uh, you know yeah, relax. Yeah, done. But so I, I I I I have sex, but I I I don't yes, come yes, until yes, the no. until the end of the night and then it's, it's like. The big one. Yeah, yeah, so it's like that. Totally so you do yeah. it to yourself. Yeah. But some, it's even more intense if, like, if you can trust someone else to be, okay, I know eventually I'm going to get to come, but I don't mm. know when. Yeah. It becomes this real, you're right, it's not about the and orgasm. I, I, I'm sure you get a lot of questions from friends on, <laughs> on your social media, on, on Twitter yes. and whatever. I get a lot of uh, fan questions and the typical question is, how can you last that long as a performer? Because some scenes, I mean, today it was super easy and fast, but yeah. some scenes take long. And the other <laughs> question is, how can you avoid coming? Because a lot of guys, you know, They stick it's it hard. in, and yeah. then they. Want it's so to... good! It's so good. And this this uh, holding back is basically what I think I did that since I was a little boy jerking off. You know, it felt so good. It felt so good, and hold it back before uh. you come. So I did that to yes. myself. You know. Yes. This helps you to control. It helps you to yeah. yeah to find that place in your head where you can. Yeah. It's a lot better than some of the, be the tough days on set for me, and I'm like biting my tongue. <laughs> I just tried. Because you don't want to go? Uh, doing, I did a, a VR scene with Riley Reed and Adrian Chechik, and they had like oh, 20 hard. minutes of me laying there and them just doing whatever they wanted, and I'm just sitting there staring at them. Don't do it. You don't can't do breathe, it. or yeah. the camera, and I'm biting my tongue. <laughs> just try, like my faces must have been hysterical, but like you, ma you make it so real. good. <sighs> VR scenes to explain to the audience, um, virtual reality. That's where many times they replace quote unquote your head with a with a cameras. It's like a set of cameras. So you're laying there. You have your head tilted backwards. It's a very unpleasant uh, position, and then. Uh, you can control anything because it's a, it's the the person who watches it wants to imagine that's his body and his penis, and the trick is you you have to come in a certain time. You cannot cut. You cannot you may, you, normally you cut. You make it shorter or la uh, longer. But this is like real. Okay, yeah. And at, at least at the beginning, the problem was always the camera. I had a tendency to overheat after 25 minutes. Yeah. So you had to do everything in one shot within 24 minutes. Yes. You yeah. know, if you if you take longer, then the camera might overheat and you can't use the whole fucking scene. If yes. you're too short, it's not good. It's yeah. kind of, in the last maybe one year, it has gotten better. It's, it's definitely, yeah. they don't overheat nearly as much anymore. So yeah, yeah. Nice. I remember it was it was bad there at first. Yeah. Now it's a little bit better. It was a good. A little for, more flexible. It was good for me because I got so many bookings by, because I can control it pretty well. Yeah. And they felt safe to book me. So yeah. they, they, they what told me. a waste me, of your talents. They, they told me 23 minutes. And they were, you know, so it got me a lot of work. Ah. <laughs> you know, so if I have a timer, it's like, oh, that's perfect. Uh, like, I like, that's why I love work for uh, Cherry Pimps is because yeah. they have that timer. Then it's like, all right. <laughs> countdown. Uh, yeah, the countdown helps me out <laughs> so much. I work for Cherry Pimps a lot, but I've never done a VR scene for them. Oh, no, no. They do the live show. live show. With the, the timer. Oh, I've never done a live. Lives. I've done live shows in Spain a lot, mm. like for... Live audience, yeah, three, four, five hundred people. Oh, that's that, so cool! I would love to do that, that. That's fun on stage, and they cheer at you. You feel like a <laughs> fucking rock star. It's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, this is just on webcam, yeah, which is also like, very cool. Yeah, but. yeah, but it's just a lot of people like, let me see your feet. Take the shoes off. Put the shoes on. Look at feet. Do they smell? <laughs> <laughs> do they smell? Okay. Hey, do the splits. <laughs> I don't know why they ask that, but... <laughs> they ask you to do the No, they ask the girl. Oh, well, that yeah. makes more sense. <laughs> Guys, uh, let me see if we're still recording. Uh, because I don't see a... Yeah, everything is good. I was worried. <laughs> because I had that... Once uh, with um, what's her name, uh, Kira Noir. Oh. We were we were at home at her place and we were talking and talking and after 
half an hour the camera switched off because the, it's uh, oh. uh, I re- and then we kept talking and it's like <laughs> you just finished telling us a story about 23 minutes when the camera yeah. switches off <laughs> yeah. okay oh, uh, Nathan really uh, nice. uh, good uh, oh, working with you team working DP you D. guys were amazing D wow. is the real champion wow. D, thank you. And oh, thank okay, you guys, guys um, do you have this scene on your website? Can they watch it on your website? Uh, uh, the one from Dead? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be on Clip Sale, OnlyFans, uh, Pornhub, fucking uh, mini vids. Yeah, it should be on all of them. So look for uh, for what should they look? For? What's uh, your if you keyword, just uh, Nathan? Look up Nathan Bronson uh, on mini vids, Pornhub, OnlyFans. If you're looking for clips for sale, it's Hanging with Nathan. And uh, anything else, if you just Google Nathan Bronson, you'll be able to find it. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm at D. Williams XXX. Okay. And I don't have anywhere to put it yet. I'm so lazy. I have a lot of stuff on my computer. <laughs> You're going to break but, the internet when you put somebody, <laughs> no, no, the problem is somebody's going to break in and steal your computer. <laughs> But That's one day, one day, I also gonna release it. So I gonna get the raw footage. That means my edited version looks a little bit different than yours mm. yes. or yours. But uh, it's gonna be still the same basic content. It's be awesome! You're all gonna love it. Okay, thank you. Right. And I don't see you, but you see me again next week. <laughs> all right, bye guys. Good.